Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your Dumbbell Cardio Tabata Workout. In this workout, we are gonna get heart pumping cardio in our traditional Tabata intervals. That is 20 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest in four minute rounds. I am gonna be incorporating a dumbbell if you wanna add a little extra intensity and get a little extra strength, but totally fine just to keep it body weight as well. And of course, I'm gonna give you lots of different options to work to your own fitness level. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's start just by getting our bodies moving, getting the heart rates up, getting the blood flowing, getting that core temperature up, and bringing the energy today for this cardio workout. Maybe you're coming in with the energy, maybe you're like a lot of us, and you're feeling a little low energy, or tired, or stress, whatever it is, we are gonna work it out today. It's called a workout, because we are gonna work it out. So we're gonna keep this warm up pretty short. We're just gonna get some standing dynamic movements to get everything ready to go. Now, this is weighted cardio, so I do want you to use a lighter weight for most things. I'll give you some guidance on what you should pick for what. Now, if you are not feeling the weight today, maybe you had a hard, uh, workout yesterday, bring those knees in. Like many of us, maybe you're feeling a little bit of soreness, maybe you're feeling tightness or tension in your head, neck, and shoulders. It is totally fine to do every single one of these moves. Let's get a little hip roll, side lunge. You can do every single one of these moves, just body weight, that is totally fine. You can also start out with the weight. If it doesn't feel good, take it to body weight. We do wanna be careful doing cardio moves with a weight, especially when we're moving a little bit quicker to make sure that we're in control of the weight, that our core is engaged, and that we're not feeling it in our back or too much in our head, neck, and shoulders. Let's just take it side to side. So most things, we're gonna keep low impact. The few things that we're adding impact, we're just gonna take it a little bit slower. So we do wanna use caution, but adding a weight is a great way, let's go flat back down, to add some intensity to those cardio moves, to add a little variety to those cardio moves, and of course, what's fun about today is we are doing it in Tabata format. Roll those shoulders here. What does that mean? That means that we are getting it done. 20 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest in four minute rounds. Let's go standing cat cow right through here. And then let's take it to that squat and hinge. So squat it down, hands behind the head, hinge it here. So we're doing traditional Tabata. So four minute rounds, that's 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Your first four rounds will be one move. Your second four sets of 20 seconds will be a second move. So all you gotta remember is one move for four 20 second rounds. And then we get into it. Little tap backs right here to open up the hip and the knee. So I'm gonna talk you through it as we go. I'm of course going to give you options. So don't worry, you will have options whew, with or without the dumbbell with or without the added impact, picking your intensity level. Let's take it right here, reach across. All right, so hopefully you're feeling warm. Again, be where you are today is something I always say, this is your workout. We are all in a different place in our fitness journey and also where we are today. Again, maybe you're sore or tight or tense, you wanna keep it just body weight, get that mobility. Maybe you're feeling good and you wanna add that weight. Either way, we're gonna stay in control, we're gonna have good form, good range of motion, and we're gonna keep it moving and get our heart rates up. The name of the game today is to move our bodies, get our hearts pumping, strengthen our hearts and lungs, get everything burning, and leave here feeling better than when we started. All right, so shake it out. You can keep those little hamstring curls if you want. Watch me here, one medium to light dumbbell. I'm gonna keep close by, keep both close by. Your first round of four sets of 20 seconds, we've got knee pulls. We're gonna take it here, we're gonna cross on our second two. Your second round, four times, shuffle and push. You can do a side step or you can do a shuffle. Let's get it done, 20 seconds, pull them. Here we go. So you don't have to go super fast, and again, I want you in control of that weight. If you wanna just keep the weight center, that works too. If you want a little extra shoulders, take it here. And again, if you want body weight, keep it here. Three, two, one, shake it up. 
One more time, 20 seconds, same thing. You can give your hands a break in those 10 seconds, but just make sure you have good form when you pick that weight back up. Here we go, pull them in. So nice and tight, arms are in control, knee comes to your chest. We're not just going through the motion, we're intentional, right? I want you to think about that core working while we get arms, while we get legs. Five, four, three, two, one. If you wanna hang on to that dumbbell, you can bring it down. Just get a little tap while we shake it out. This time, we're gonna take it across our body, right through here. Three, two, one, 20 seconds. Little bit extra core. If it's too much twisting, just keep it center. That works too. At any point you need to drop the weight or go a little lighter, go for it. I might do the same. Three, two, one, and breathe. Last time with this knee pull move, knee cross now, right? We got 20 seconds to go. Then we're switching gears to our shuffle and push. Here we go. If you can pick up that pace, go for it. If you wanna add a little more arms, but remember, we got this dumbbell the whole time. Keep it going, keep it going. Three, two, and one. All right, team, so watch me here. You breathe. You can either do double step, little press, turn and twist, or just keep it body weight. Here we go. Double step or shuffle. You can do a big shuffle right here. Keep the weight close to your body as you're doing your shuffle. And then once you plant your feet, push and twist, right? So we're keeping it in out. Think about those back muscles squeezing, but close to your body, relax. Right, we're feeling it. I know, especially after all those knee pulls. So our arms are gonna get a workout. So again, use your own judgment if you need a break. Let's get it done, here we go. Shuffle, push. Quick feet with the shuffle or double step. Remember body weight? You could do a little reach. Up to you. Cover the space. Three, two, one. I'm gonna switch to a little lighter. I'm starting to feel too much in my arms and those shoulders. So I'm gonna go to my five pound. Whoo, right through here. We got two more rounds of 20 seconds. Join me. Whoa, that feels really light. But I'm gonna be aware if you have a super light one that I'm not just all over the place with the weight, right? That I'm still keeping it controlled. Three, two, and one. Breathe, we got one last round. What can you do to up your intensity? Maybe you're getting a little lower, maybe you're getting a little faster. Let's do it. I'm gonna try to get a little lower, but you do you. You don't have to twist if that's not good for you. Just keep it here. Yes, five, four, three, two, and breathe. Quick sip of water, set those weights down. Give yourself, we're doing a little cardio mobility in between. I want you to really push those arms back, right? We got a lot of this tightness here. Reach them back, reach them back. Grab some water, of course. After that, whoo. And we're going into our next round. All right, team, so here's what we got. You keep moving with your cardio mobility. We're gonna take two dumbbells or one. If you have two, make sure they're light. We're doing hamstring curls with bicep curls. I'm gonna go with my two five pounds. You can go with one heavy dumbbell in the center. That's an option too. You can go no weights and just keep it moving here. Curl and curl. Then we got what we call a squat drop jump. So you're gonna step out into a squat, drop the weight right where you are, either up on your toes or power it up. Grab the weight again, keep it low, step up, all the way through, all right? So heavy or light, get set up, curl and curl. Let's do it. So curl, Now remember, I'm not going as fast as I would if I were body weight. You can do that if you are going body weight, but if you got those weights, I want control, control. Keep those elbows in tight, extend them down to get the stretch, three, two, one. 
One more time. Three more times, actually. So hamstring curl, flex the foot to the back, squeeze it in. Let's get it done. Here we go. Take it up, take it up. So again, very controlled, not too fast. If you feel like you're gonna get more out of it with no weights and you can get your heart rate up more, you can move quicker, pick that option. It's totally up to you. Three, two, one. I'm gonna do that for one. So if you wanna have a round that you take the weights out, we'll go a little quicker. Let's try it. Two more times, curl and curl. Here we go, take it out. So if you don't have weights, you can even add that little jump to it. You can add that jump with weights, but I just want you to be extra careful. Safety first, right? Ha. Pull it back. You can see why this works, right? The cardio comes in the fact, not about the 20 second intervals, but about the 10 second rest. Three, two, one. And also the fact, catch your breath, that we can really go hard in those 20 seconds and we don't get bored. Here we go. Bring them up. I'm gonna go forward. Ha. Take it here to here. Here to here. Ha. Ha. Almost done with our curl and our curl. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. One dumbbell or no dumbbell. You're gonna set it down, step out into the squat, set it down in between power, squat, or jump. Here we go. Take it down, bring it up, take it up, take it down. Now, if you don't have the range of motion to get that low, you can do it here, or just take it body weight. I still want you to get as low as is good for you. And remember, you don't have to jump. You can just do power, then drop it low. The picking up the weight is the part that is challenging your body in that way. Here we go, step it out. I know the jump is challenging in different ways, but the mobility work comes here to here, right? Feeling it? And again, I know, maybe you're somebody who had a heavy leg workout yesterday and your legs are feeling it. Totally fine to just tap it. Huh. Relax. Two more times of that, then this Tabata round is over. What do we love about Tabata? It moves fast, but it moves fast. Here we go. Take it down. Up. Making sure that you're keeping those shoulders pulled back. What I don't want to see is this, right? Here. Yes, you can. Really more of a strength burner. Three, two, one. We got one more round. Then we got a breather coming. So let's get it done. With or without the weight, you decide where you want to be on this last round for 20. And here. Power. Up. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Shake it out. Weights to the side. Woo, grab a sip of water. And we're gonna shake out with those hamstrings. Ha. So again, team, woo, getting those quads that were burning, right? Reach it here. All right, you stay right here with cardio mobility. Unless you need more of a breather, keep it right here. All right, we just did this one in a strength workout. Several of you seem to like it. Skater twist. So we got our skater right through here, either low impact or a little hop with a little, little twist to the hip. Twisting is not right for you, you just take it body weight, all right? Then, everybody's favorite, good old snatch. So your snatch, you're alternating. You're either here, drop it down. If the snatch is not right for you, you can just do a curl press or you can do a high pull. So up to you. Keep those weights close by. Starting with our skater, four rounds of 20. Here we go, shuffle. Oh no, Woo. what was I thinking? So skater, remember from your body weight, side to side. So shifting your weight, hip to hip. I really want you to think about sticking the landing, even if you're going low impact or high, you're into that hip. Three, two, one. 
Body weight, you can do whatever you want with your hands. If you feel like you can get quicker with that, I want you to go for it. If you want to keep that weight for a little extra core and upper, let's do it. Keeping it close to your body, pull those shoulders back. If you're feeling like it's pulling you forward, again, just body weight. I think that's what I'm gonna do on my last two rounds. Get low, if you can. Three, two, one. Breathe. I'm gonna go body weight on these. You do you. It's your workout. Two more rounds of 20. Three, two, one. Skater. So I'm gonna go big arms without the weight. So I can really get that mobility. Low impact or high. If you got that weight, keep it close. Keep it close. Keep it close. Five, four, three, two, one. One more team. Ah, I know. Just gotta get to that snatch. Everybody loves a snatch. Catch your breath. Let's get it done. Here we go. Last time skater, what is that for you? Is that weighted with a little twist? Is that low down to the ground? Is that a big hop? You do the skater that is good for you right now in this moment for these last five seconds. Whew. All right, team, snatch. I'm gonna give you a couple more seconds on this one. So remember your snatch. You're pulling it from the ground close to your body, power it up, either with a little hop or a little hinge, so your hips are helping. Again, if that's not right for you, curl, press, or high pull. Let's get it done, 20 seconds. Here we go, Hup. and down. If you've never done a snatch before, just do the curl and the press. Curl, press, The snatch is a little tricky to get a feel for, and it's not really one that we can break down super easily, slowly and relax because it's a power move. You use your entire body to pull it up. Core, glutes, posterior chain, whatever you got. Let's do it again. 20 seconds. And here. Up. And here. Still getting over this cold. Man, it's lingering. I feel good. Still a little congested. Right through here. Last one. Two more rounds of snatches, or that high pull, or that curl, and press. You do you. Let's get it done. Here we go. If you're starting to feel like that snatch feels like too much, high pull, and down, or curl, press. Think of it as a hinge, right? Deadlift, curl, press. You don't have to go fast at all. It's up to you. Last. All right, last round of 20 seconds. Then three out of our five Tabata rounds are done. Let's finish it strong. Here we go. What do you got? Is it a good clean snatch? Make sure you get some power. We're not rushing it. I don't care if you get two or 10, but we got good form, right? Ha! Five seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Carefully set that weight down. Right through here, grab a sip. Two more. Two more Tabata circuits. Get it done. All right, team. So, let's keep those skaters a little rainbow. While I'm talking you through your next round, just a little mobility. Keep it right there. Watch me. All right, we got dumbbell tap outs. I'm going light. You can go lightweight or no weight. Think of it as a weighted jack. Out and up, out and up, right? We'll mix it up as we go. Four rounds, dumbbell tap outs. Then we're taking it to a dumbbell swing. I'm gonna go light skier swing, power it up. If that's not right for you, I want you to take it with that hinge, with that deadlift, all right? I might grab my 10 and go a little heavier. We'll see. Grab that light weight. Tap it out, 20 seconds. So forward and up. Again, we got a lot of upper body work right through here. So if you need a break, you just take it. You can even go full jacks. If you wanna add it here, a little tap and tap. Control of that weight, close. You can also just go here 
and relax. Shoulders back. So I'm gonna do like I did with those skaters. So I'm feeling my shoulders a little bit. I'm gonna go two rounds weighted. Two rounds. Out, here we go. Up. If you're feeling good about it, you can take it to that jack, but I want it slow. And I want you to keep those shoulders back, core zipped. And up, up, and up. You do you. Yes, team. I'm setting my weight down. Woo. Shake it out. All right, I'm gonna do it here, here. I'm gonna get my arms moving in that motion, but I'm taking the weight out. It's up to you. So side to side, or up and up. Woo. Yes, team, you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out, last one. Last one of this, with or without the weight. Jacks, tap out, either way, shoulders pulled back, core engaged. Get it done. You got that weight, you're here. If you want, jacks. We got 10 seconds of this move, then we're gonna breathe. Three, two, and one. Shake it up. I'm gonna give you a couple extra seconds on this one because we're going into our skier swing. If you'd rather do one dumbbell swing in the center, take it there or a kettlebell, it's up to you. Or again, just take it to the deadlift. Do what's best for you. If you've never done a swing, keep it with that hinge. Otherwise, join me for 20. Here we go. Power up, let it drop. So go a little lighter than you normally would because we got four rounds back to back. We're gonna stretch in between. Yes. Three, two, one. Relax. So if you can, weights down on the ground. Pedal those feet. A little stretch through here. We're gonna do that three more times. You decide where you wanna be. You can also just get a hinge and a reach if that's better for you. Let's get it done. Three, two, one. Power up. Zip up that core. Push into those feet. I know, we did swings in our workout yesterday if you're following the calendar. So don't worry about it. If it's too much, you do you. Three, two, one. And relax. Woo. Pedal your feet. Up to you. You wanna take it to one? I'm gonna take it to one. Let's finish it out. Here we go. Let it drop. Let it drop. There we go. Yes, you can. Boom. What do you got, team? Power up and through for three, two, one, and relax. Pedal right through here. Last time. You decide what you want this swing to be, because this is it, team. We got one more round, it's gonna go quick. Roll those shoulders back. Zip up that core. If you want your deadlift, take your deadlift. If you want your swing, take your swing, or body weight, three, two, one. 20 seconds. Up and in. Lock out in that core, either way. Relax those arms, arms are not doing the work. Your lower body is doing the work. So finish it out. Right through here, you got three, two, one, and relax. Woo. Pedal right through here. All right, team. Quick sip of water. All those swings. All right, this last one is gonna be a doozy, but I'm gonna give you a lot of options, all right? We got four minutes to go. Two moves. All right, we're starting with our surrenders. Surrenders are going all the way down on the mat. We're gonna hold a weight here. You're going down, down, up, up. I'm gonna give you the option to press at the top or to hold it over your head. If that doesn't feel good for you, alternate your lunges or tap backs. You can stay up. If your knees don't feel good going down, stay up. Then we're taking it to the mat. If you want, we've got a dumbbell row, 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 Climber two and one, just like that. Or row, row, 
knee, and knee. If you wanna take it standing, take it standing. All right, shake everything out, get some stretches right through here. That is it, team. We got our weighted surrenders, we got our plank mountain climbers, and then we got a cool down. Let's get it done. 20 seconds in three, two, one. Here we go. So down, down. You do not have to take these fast. What I would love for you to think about is right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. Yes, you can. I know it's a lot of legs, so again, you can also just do tap, lunge, tap, relax. All right, this time I'm gonna give you the option at the top to press, then bring it back down. You can also take this totally body weight if that's better for you. Here we go. Down, down, up, and up. Whew. If you want, take it up right here. And up. If you're going body weight, just raise those arms at the top. Ha! Three, two, one, breathe. All right, two more times. I'm gonna give you an option with this one. If you wanna hold it over your head the whole time, only if you're comfortable with that. Otherwise, right here. Down, down, up, here. If that bothers your shoulders or your neck, keep it close to your body. Or just press at the top. Yes, you can. We're almost done with this one. And relax. All right, team, one more. You do you. Wait here, wait and press over your head. We got 20 seconds right here. Only do this one if that's comfortable for you. Lots of core engagement, right? And breathe. Five seconds. Can we get one more right here? Yes, you can. Woo! All right, team. Woo! Let's get this done. Let's finish it out. So you can either do alternating row, then bring it up, cross your knees, or row from the plank, cross your knees. We got one and two. Four rounds. This is it. Let's finish it strong. Zip up that core either way. Shoulders back. Let's do it. Three, two, one. So row, row, run it. Shh. Shh. Row. Another option if you want to be down in that plank position is from your knees. You can go up and up. Tap it back. Tap it back. Up to you. Shh. Shh. Run it. Stretch it out right here. Child's pose every time. If you're up top, get a little stretch. Let's do that three more times, and then let's call it a day. Here we go. You got row. Row. Run it. Up. And up. Run it. You guys know I love a good mountain climber, right? Whoo. Full body move. At least it's not a pop-up or a burpee, right? Stretch it out. All right, team, we got two more. How about we take the row out and the weight out? Let's just do the climber. Standing or on the mat. Here we go, run it. Shh. To the center or across. Little tuck of the pelvis, but here's what I don't want. I don't want your hips here. I want that good plank position wherever you are. Remember, it's only 20 seconds. We do climbers all the time for longer. So you can do it. Three, two, one. Stretch it back. Last time. No bonus move, I'm telling you right now. So give it all you got for these last 20 seconds. Climber standing, climber below. Three, two, one, hut. Towards your chest, remember you can tap it in, you can run it in, but I'm focused on you getting those knees close, not how fast you're going. Core stays engaged, pelvis is tucked, elbows and shoulders right over those wrists. For five, four, three, two, and breathe. All right, so wherever you are, join me down for this child's pose. Even if you were standing, we'd love for you to come on the mat because I want you to press those shoulders down, reach those fingertips forward, let your head drop. Woo! Yes, team! Had to end on a high note. Let's cross one arm under. If that's comfortable for you, let that shoulder drop. You can rest your head down. Woo! Ah. 
Make sure you get some more stretching on your own. We're gonna keep it short today, but especially with your shoulders and arms, they got more of a workout than we thought, right? We got a lot of lower body work, we got a lot of core work as well, but whew, everything was working hard. Come up onto all fours if that's comfortable for you. You can be on the wrist if you need to, or those fists or dumbbells round through your back. And just come up halfway. Get a little pedal of your feet right through here. You let your upper body hang. Make sure you leave me a comment. Like this video, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Do you like weighted cardio? Do you like mixing it up like this? Do you like Tabata? Most people like Tabata, right? Because it's fast. Reach it up. Sometimes we alternate one move and then the other. Sometimes we do the same move the whole time. Sometimes we do same move for four, second move for four. Sometimes we do shorter intervals. But either way, we're trying to mix it up. Whew. Reach those thumbs to the back if you can grab behind. So leave me a comment, let me know like this video and of course don't forget to subscribe fingertips back quad stretch if you got it otherwise tilt it forward when you subscribe that helps me be able to keep making these work out for you also check out everything in the description would love to have you join us in the body fit athletic club and of course if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one coaching check out body fit elite and check everything else out on my website bodyfitbaby.com and of course, follow me on social media. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope to see you back for your next workout. I hope you feel good, strong, capable because you were all of those things just by being here today. Let's get one big deep breath in. And out, you did it. That was your dumbbell cardio Tabata workout. Great job, everybody.